vanished into the unknown. Whoa. I have pink. I don't think I want to throw pink in there. Green. I didn't know where my want is. You're welcome. Oh, well. Alrighty. So, the other day, um, well, I got a mold from Backfist Custom, uh, Customs. And it's a clock mold. So I was able to make a clock like a while back. And it's a it's alright. It's nice. But then I was like, dude, why don't we pour on a CD? I seen people pouring on CDs, and it just so happens that the CD is the right size for that clock mold. So what we did, we went ahead and did our mold. And then we put our CD, poured on our CD, and we put our CD inside of our mold to give us a absolutely gorgeous clock, desk clock. And you can hang it because it has a little hanger on the back. But check that out. You see that? Look at those colors. Those colors are wicked. And yep, yeah, that's a CD. So this is a CD that I had. I shouldn't have had in the first place because it has a lot of, yeah, I shouldn't have had it. So... I was throwing it out and I said, you know what, I'm going to pour on it. Let's see what happens. And it came out pretty sweet. So we're going to try another one. We're going to do another one. But this is a multi-step multi, multi -step project. Um, so I'm going to use my Flow Rider. The Flow Rider one. Um, it's totally scratched up, so it's... I don't use it because it is scratched up. It is a clean version, y'all. It's a clean version. Um, so we're going to get that cleaned up. We're just going to pour three basic colors and that'll be that. So what I'm going to do is grab some paper towels. Just clean it up a little bit. And this is straight up alcohol, y'all. Some alcohol. Clean that bad boy off. And we're going to do the other side as well because that side's going to have um, epoxy on it eventually. But, yeah. Just get it all nice and clean. Air it off. Let it sit. There we go. Can y'all see that? I am throwing shadow back, huh? Sorry. This camera angle is horrible. There we go. Maybe, maybe. Alrighty. So we're gonna use the Master's Touch pre-mixed um, pouring acrylics. We're gonna use their gold, their, what is this, silver? Silver metallic and their black. Yeah, gold metallic, silver metallic and black. Itty bitty cup. I'm just gonna use those three colors. I really should use like a white on there, but I don't wanna use a white right now. I just wanna see how these come out. I'm hoping this comes out pretty sweet. I really, really should use a white. Dude, where's my white? Stand by. Let me grab my white if I can find it. found it so this is just the white that I have mixed myself it's not the master's touch or any kind of label on there so we're just gonna alrighty guys let's just layer up our colors real fast and push this off to the side having a time of it with this camera you know too all right we'll just leave it like that um start off with some white i don't need a lot of paint but more than likely i'm gonna have a lot of paint on this thing and then i'll just end up 
dipping something else or making skin using the skins for something else of course this one doesn't have it's not open yet how about we just open it gold in there though. Let's throw some more white. And that should be more than enough paint to go on this. So there is our dirty cup. Dirty dirty. See that? There's our mixture. And it's already mixed all the way in so I'm not going to use the little popsicle stick or anything like that. Alright you guys, here's our CD. It should be dried already. And I'm just gonna pour uh, haphazardly. There's no major design that I'm going for. But, of course, you know, ring pours tend to turn out. Or little rib, uh, rings, ribbons, yada yada. Oh dude, that is sweet. Give me a second and I'll show you. that without me throwing all that shadow I guess I should have plugged in the light huh and put on some gloves because it's about to get messy up in here but I got DoorDash on the way because I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking let's just see let's see let's see so we have our, oh dude, this is a beautiful pattern. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pattern. And so we're just gonna, oh my goodness. So we have our CD that we poured on. We're just gonna attempt to make another clock. Oops, sorry. It's pretty sweet. Popped it in epoxy, the whole nine yards. So let's, this is pretty. So this is just a CD, and of course my thing falls, and I'm just going to maneuver it a little bit. It doesn't take that much maneuvering, of course, because it's itty bitty. Oh, that is pretty. Dude, have you seen this? What in the world? Okay, so that is wicked like that. So let me put this back on the stand. Take these gloves off and bring it down because that's all the maneuvering we're going to do. We're going to let it sit overnight and we have to do step two is prepping our mold and ouch, the whole nine yards afterwards. Give me one second. Let me turn you around. All right. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. How are you guys? Wow, dude, look at that. Now that, my friend, is wicked. I shouldn't say wicked because some people might think it's bad. That is pretty sweet. Look at that. Look at that center. Oh, man. And so when it dries, I am so hoping. You see that gold popping through? I hope that gold really, really, really shows. What in the world? How does that happen? Look at it. What? Oh, that's beautiful right there. Oh, there we go. Right there, right there. Screenshot. Ready? One, two, three. Screenshot. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay. So we're going to let that dry for... What time is it? It's like 6.30. I'll be back again uh, tomorrow, around 6.30ish, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can end up with something just like that. 
that is too sweet. Alrighty, you have a beautiful Wednesday evening, and we will holla at you later, later. Bye, bye.